What's up everyone? So today, got me a new roll cart. My old roll cart was just about worn out and it only had three drawers. So we've upgraded to, I don't know how many drawers this has, one, two, three, four, five, six drawers, but it's got one of the big ones on the bottom. Same room up top. I haven't finished putting everything up, but I just thought I'd show everybody what the deal is so haven't this is it's been a long time since i've gotten a new box it's been about five years but they they hold up pretty well of course snap on see what what the part number is on this thing i'm sure y'all have seen this box before uh krsc 32 something six krsc 326 something but anyway and i'll show y'all what i've got in here so far i still haven't gotten everything perfectly organized because i just got it earlier about an hour ago anyway so up top i'm keeping pretty much set up like the other one I've got the impact sockets over here some deep old mid-link wigglers and then i put the shallow 3 8 wigglers and little quarter inch deals on this side. Oh, I got these a week ago. It's a 3 8 flip socket. It's got the the 1719 2122 and a little extension. And since I usually use a 3 8 impact more than the half inch, I figured these would be pretty handy. But uh, got my ratchets laying ratchets, ratchets, ratchets laying around over here and I'm gonna find somewhere to put them. Detecting still still kicking it. Haven't used it a whole bunch but it seems to look a lot like the new icon ratchet that came out. So I think they're probably made by the same company. But anyway, over here also got the Matco 38s and then the small flex head snap on 38s. My straight pry bars. Are those straight? I guess they'd be a, are still considered a pry bar. Or is that a, what would that be, a chisel maybe? Maybe it's called a chisel? Is that a chisel or a pry bar? That's a good question. Y'all will have to let me know if those are chisels or pry bars if they're straight. But I know those are pry bars. And then got my chemicals. This is the only penetrating oil I know of that works. And then got screwdrivers, mix of screwdrivers. First drawer, power tools. Got the short and long quarter inch ratchet, short and long three eighths, screwdriver, quarter inch. The stubby and the snap on three eighths. Next drawer is pliers and these little thingies here that are the greatest thing ever for those little clips. Got my bits for my screw gun. Some little bitty screwdrivers and picks. And then got all my well these are just mostly metric wrenches. I keep most of the other ones in that other box. But I do keep a uh, nine sixteenths and half and then the long flex head deals and I put the blow gun in here but I haven't decided where to put that yet and the next one down is all the chrome stuff chrome extensions chrome sockets got the FDX sockets some quarter inch chrome wigglers uh, allens and torx some quarter inch stuff and then I got my SAE, some SAE stuff over here next one down the good stuff got the scanner the modus edge over there thermal imager multi probe test light that's a uh, scope whatever it is it's camera amp clamp and bottom drawer got the half inch impact sockets half inch impacts and I've been using this thing a lot lately, the 
snap on 18 volt. Everybody says it's horrible, but I like it. It has good power. The battery lasts a long time, so. But I'm going to move this around. I really don't need two half inch impacts in the same roll cart, so I'm going to move that around somewhere and figure some more stuff out. But I'm just pretty excited because it's been a first time in a long time that I actually got a new toolbox or well, roll cart whatever and I've been wanting I've had my eye on one of these six is it six yeah six drawers with these neat little bumpers on the side oh and I keep the magnet tray over there and all this will probably get moved around and I never keep things the same very long but y'all tell me what y'all think how I should set this thing up and whether or not those are considered chisels is this a chisel or is this a pry bar? It's one of those questions we never know the real answer to. Oh, and these things, while I'm at it, these Matco Universal Impacts have so much play in them. That is crazy. It feels like you're not even on the, the bolt or whatever. Like they spin, so, especially as soon as they start breaking in. Like, look at that. That's not spinning on the rail either. Like, there's a little bit, but it is mostly inside the base. It's spinning so much. I really don't like those. Well, I try to get, see, like the snap-on, there's no, no play at all. And I think, yeah, so I got a, even the gray pneumatic. Like, that's a cheap, that, this thing's like 10 bucks or less. It may be like 5 bucks. There's no play in it. But yet, with, when you get, oh, come here. With the mat coat, like there's a lot of play in these sockets, especially when you use them for a while. Like that is a that's ridiculous, and they're wearing out really fast. Like the inside of them is just wearing out. Like these will last. Like I I think I would if I could do it again, I would definitely not get the mat coat. And just get the deep snap on or the semi deep snap on or whatever because you know, those Matco ones I'm not I don't, I don't think those things are worth anything so let me know what y'all think so two things y'all gotta let me know is this a pry bar or a chisel and have y'all had any luck with these Matco universal swivels because I don't I don't really like them too much but anyway, that's it for today. Sorry I hadn't made a video in a while. It's been like 105 degrees in the shop and I just hadn't really felt like talking. But I'm gonna try to start putting out some more videos pretty soon. So what, what, what should I change this around? So I guess that's three questions. Is that a chisel or a pry bar? What do you think about the Matco impact swivels? And any suggestions on how I should set this thing up any different? Like I try, and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have your impact sockets with your ratchets up here. I may put the power tools on top, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. I am going to get the, uh, the attachment that, so that I can use this, this little holster. I'm going to get the slot and dot, whatever attachment. But, oh, I did notice... I guess it's just been a while since I've had one, a new one, but man, this foam stuff is really sticky or this liner is really sticky on my old box I don't think maybe it's just old it just seems like it's different like that's not really all that sticky so I got that all cleaned out gonna get rid of it I gotta finish getting a few little odds and ends my phone gotta put the phone it needs like a little holster for my phone I just put that there oh burned up some spark plugs so where did that go didn't even realize I'd done it but let's see if we can find the one that's messed up yeah so if you look I'm pretty sure this is broken I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see this or not but see well see the I don't know if you can even see that oh well y'all gonna take my word for it that one's messed up you can kind of see. Hold on, let me see if I can get my finger behind it. I don't know why my video is so grainy. I'll have to adjust the settings, but yeah. So, burned up this spark plug, and 
I don't know if y'all know about the three valves, but the spark plugs are stupid expensive, especially for some colder plugs. Oh, and I had the intake off because I just wanted to make sure all the valves and everything were all right. Uh, so we got intake piping and nitrous lines and pulling stuff apart. And should I show you all my, my secrets? So on the 09 Mustang, unlike the 08, we'll go into this later. I'll make a separate video. I'm not going to show you all my secrets today. But anyway, so I'm going to try to get this fixed up. I, there's a race a week from Saturday that I'm trying to make. So and I probably may need to get some new tires but we'll see anyway give me a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe i promise i'm gonna start making some more videos um we're gonna have a discussion soon about all this new stuff at harbor freight my uh my employee is obsessed with his wink like who puts this on their box really like that's his sticker that he really likes kids anyway Y'all give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment. Let me know. Is that a chisel or a pry bar? I don't know. Anyway, y'all have a good day.